Hey guys, it's Takuya. You know Kaoru Mitomura, of course, right? He is hottest football player in Japan right now. And he's also getting a lot of attention in the Premier League because his dribbling is unstoppable even by Liverpool defenders. Today, I'm going to teach you 5 dribbling skills that he has used in real games. These are simple and effective skills that are easy to use in the game. So take a look at this video and apply them in your own game. Alright, let's get started. This skill can be used, for example, in a one-on-one -on -one situation where your right foot is a strong foot and you are on the left side. Mitoma is good at crossing with the outside of his right foot, but he also uses it as a fake. The key is to create a form that is really a pass with the outside of your strong foot. This skill is the one that Mitoma uses most often. I call it the Mitoma step and Neymar also uses it often. From a slow dribble, stop the ball once with the outside of your strong foot and immediately step to the side of the ball. After that, immediately touch the ball with your little finger and beat the defender. This skill is another one that Mitoma uses often on the side. The key is to move the ball in the opposite direction with your outside before the kick fake. This will make it easier to beat the defender because the defender will also move there. The first touch after the fake is just to stop the ball with your inside and the second touch is to beat the defender. This skill is a skill in which Mitoma pretends to pass to the wing back and beat the defender. First, stop the ball with your outside and turn your body backwards. At this point, once you look up, the skill is more effective. After that, step in with your upside foot and move the ball forward with outside of your strong foot to beat the defender. This skill may seem like a simple body fake, but there is a difference between the two body fakes. The first body fake is smaller and the second body fake is bigger. By changing the rhythm of the body fakes in this way, you will be able to use body fakes more effectively in your game. How did you like today's video? If you liked this video, I'd love it if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any requests, let me know in the comments right down below. I'll be bringing you more football tutorial videos on this channel. Stay tuned for the next video. See you next time.